Hi guys, Jim here. Um, just fired up the old PC to try and do some testing of controllers and thought it might be useful for other people to see the easiest way to test controllers without having to fire up your Xbox, PS3, etc. You can do that by simply plugging them into your PC, opening up the relevant settings, and you will be able to test um, the item. Now, today I have got something I've never tested before, and that's a joystick. This is a Microsoft Sidewinder Force Feedback 2 um, joystick. I bought it for a pound from a car boot. Um, I was concerned because it feels a bit flimsy, but it's apparently supposed to be like that from what I've um, checked online. Um, I haven't got the AC adapter for the Force Feedback to work. I will look into getting to that one. Um, but I thought I'd see if I can test it. I haven't got a flight simulator game or anything like that, so it wouldn't be a question of plugging it in and being able to play it. Um, but there is a way of testing um, controllers, etc., on your PC. So I'm going to quickly screen share here. Uh, that one. That might look a bit weird. Yes, it will look very weird. Um, so let's minimize that. Excuse me. Okay, so where am I? So to test a um, controller, you simply, this is Windows 10 on this PC, um, but it's the same sort of way on any Windows system. Um, and that's going to um, your settings. Now, some you would obviously go straight into control panel. Some would be slightly different, uh, but that's how you do it on this. Uh, you go into devices. And then you've got all of the different devices, etc., that are listed all down here. Now, if you go into Bluetooth and other devices, that will bring up all of the Bluetooth items or whatever you've, and USB items that you've got connected uh to the same network that you're on that's why all of the tvs in the house and even tvs we don't own anymore are showing up here i think actually that might be next door's damage um so there's the joystick it's plugged into the usb port but you don't click on that if you click on that it won't do anything what you need to do is come over to this side of the screen over here and you've got this related settings devices and printers if you click on that brings up the old style sort of control panel um, from older systems, from older um, windows, etc. And then you find the device. So I've got my keyboard, um, the two monitors that are connected to this, the game capture for Charlie's Gaming, webcam, mouse, speakers, Sidewinder Force 2 feedback. It shows up as a controller. So if you double click on that and open it, no, sorry, you don't do that. You don't double click on it. You right click on it. Go into game controller settings. And then here you've got control the settings help configure the game controller is still on your computer. So if you go into properties, it comes up with this. There's a setting screen where you can calibrate the, uh, the controller. And there's a test screen where you can test all of the functions on this joystick on a controller on whatever else you wish to do it so it's just a question of I've let me move the camera down so you can see the actual joystick I'm messing with let's put it there so as I move the joystick around you can see the little cursor in the square moves as to how I move the joystick and that is moving lovely You've got the slider on the side there. You can see when I turn that, at least I hope you can. Let's just double check, actually, that I have got that camera in the right position. Yeah, you can see as I move, there we go. Let's go back then to, sorry, go back to that. So as I move the slider, you can see the, sli the slider button um, is working. Then what else have we got on this? We've got the controls on the joystick. So what would be the fire button on the front. You can see when you press that button one lights up, 
I've got the point of view little joystick on the top and as you can see as I go around oh that goes around and then I've got three more buttons on the top of the joystick number three number four number two they all work fine and also I've got five six seven eight on here five six seven eight so there we go joystick works fine let's just mess around with it a bit just to test everything goes don't know what the z rotation um, is i don't think i've got that option but there we go that all works so i can okay that okay that close that close that close that and stop screen share for a second and there we go so let's move you back up so there is a quick way to test controllers and joysticks etc on your pc simply open up the settings go into the test function press all the buttons wiggle it around a bit on all the little joysticks and off you go I hope that's useful to someone thanks for watching guys please like subscribe etc i'll see you on the next one bye for now